Hi everyone! In this video I'll show you how you can easily configure the integration between Teachable and ConvertKit for free and without coding. I'll show you the case for automatically adding a subscriber to ConvertKit each time someone is enrolled on a course, but there are lots of other variants. In this guide you'll see how it works, and then you can configure the integration according to your needs. I'll do it with the help of the Epiway. Epiway is a free integration platform where you can find appropriate B2B software and integrate it with each other, and you don't have to pay or do any coding. Why is it free? Well, this service charges money from software vendors and promotes them in the software marketplace. That's why Epiway is free and has no limits for end users. Let's move on to the integration. First, you need to sign up on Epiway website. After you've done this, go to the tab Integrations and add Teachable and ConvertKit. Then go to My Apps and connect them. If you click on the Teachable, you will see that it is already connected. So let's connect ConvertKit. Click this button and you will see a field. Here you should input your API secret. You can find this information on the ConvertKit website. Click here and go to Account Settings. And here you will find your API key and API secret. You need only the second one. Copy it to the field on Epiway website and click the button Connect. Now both services are attached and we can start to configure the integration. Now we should create a way. You can give it the name which you need. For example, Teachable and ConvertKit. It will be easier to find it later. Here you should specify the trigger. In our case, it's Teachable. Here I select New Enrollment as I mentioned previously. And here you can see the link. If you try to go through this link, it won't work. It's only an address to which the data will be sent. Receiving data to this link will be the trigger. You should copy it. Now return to the Teachable, click on the settings and here find webhooks. Different services may have this in different places. If you can't find it by yourself, you can ask the technical support. Then click New Webhook. You should paste the link here. After you finish this, click Save Changes. Next, go to the Epiway and click Update Available Fields. Now I have 3 minutes to add the enrollment to my fake user. It will be the test data which will teach the app to receive the information. I go to Teachable and do it. Then I return to Epiway again and you can see that fields have appeared here. They vary in different services. Now let's set up an action. Choose a service here. In our case it is ConvertKit. And here you can see lots of variants of action. Let's choose Add Subscriber to Form. After that test the connection and update available fields again. And it shows you fields, which you have in contact personal info on ConvertKit website. Choose to what form you want to add the subscriber. Click the plus sign and choose name for name, email for email and so on. Then click test and activate. If you want to add it this way, you can find it in the tab My Ways, deactivate it and change everything you need. But don't forget to activate it again. Now I will add an enrollment one more time to check that everything works. Please keep in mind that transmission of the data may take a little time. Sometimes it comes immediately, sometimes you have to wait for a while. The time of waiting is up to 15 minutes. Now I'll go to ConvertKit website. I go to Subscribers and you can see that I've already received the information. Name, email. The integration is working. Using Epiway you can make integration and automate your work without any problems. And of course, don't forget to go to the Epiway website, look through the categories, choose appropriate software for you and improve your business process.